Wasn't at the beaver dam, but it was in the pond. Oh, he's coming our way now. Look, I think this is his home. Nice job, beaver. All this moment needs is a good cup of coffee. In case we don't get a better view. Look at the clouds below us this morning. Beautiful. We're on Raccoon Ridge. And check this out. A cloud inversion. Sun's out. Beautiful morning. Wild turkeys. There's two of them. Hi, my name is Tex, and I'm a silk blazing champion this morning. The cobwebs this morning are unrelentless. Ooh, bug in my ear. They are just constant. And I keep thinking, when am I gonna get to the place where the last person camped in front of me? Because once you hit that spot where they started hiking this morning, well, they've already cleared out the cobwebs from that section on. But I'm still hitting all the cobwebs and it's been like six miles. Deep thought of the morning is about these cobwebs. So they're not actual webs that a spider would catch a meal in, you know, like the big cobwebs that everyone thinks of. It's all just one strand right across the trail. And I'm trying to figure out why would a spider do just one strand like that? And my best idea is that maybe that's like their highway. Like they want to get from one side of the trail to the other. So they just shoot their web across and then they scramble across it. Kind of like Spider-Man. Shoot your web and swing across. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have no idea how there are this many spiders in this forest this morning. It is ridiculous. I've started walking, holding one of my trekking poles just right out in front of me to catch the ones hitting my face, but they still get all over your arms and your legs. Hello, New Jersey. On day one, you've already got a lot more views than Northern Pennsylvania had. Oh look, another view. Pennsylvania, you need to take some notes. Look how cool this flower is. It's got a flower for every leaf. More beaver activity. Those busy beavers. Beaver's main little apartment complex right in the middle of the pond there. Look, a little danger noodle friend. Hey bud. Y'all remember Rattlesnake Ridge with the inverted clouds? Well, get this. Fox just passed me and told me a story that as he was behind me this morning, he, right before Rattlesnake Ridge, saw a mama bear and three cubs. Wouldn't you know it? Of course he did. And of course I did not. I'm the only person that's not seen bears and I was so close, so close. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna happen for me. I know there's the bears at Bear Mountain Zoo. I've already seen them. It's not terribly exciting. I want to see a real live bear in the wild. Uncrustables for lunch. And they say that this lake right here is part of either a Boy Scouts camp or a YMCA camp. 
Nice view though, see this nice rock ledge. I got a spot in the shade, yeah. This is Rattlesnake Mountain. No rattlesnakes to be found right now. We've got more views. You have views here of the Delaware Water Gap and the Pocono Mountains. Nice breeze up here too for such a warm day. There's ripe blueberries up here. It really looked like we were in bear country to me back there. I was being real quiet and keeping a close eye out, but no such luck. But we are almost at the viewpoint where I'm going to camp tonight. Wow, not too bad. Let's see if I can find a flat spot for a tent. Here's my tent site. There's some ladies who've joined us and are setting up their tent. And we're getting ready to have dinner. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that today, today is day number 100 on trail 100 that's including the vacation days that i took but i think you're supposed to count them so happy anniversary to us i got a little dessert to help celebrate we have a cupcake with a wood candle that keeps going out so we're just gonna pretend it's lit okay happy trailversary to us happy trailversary to us Happy Trailversary, us in the Appalachian Trail. Happy Trailversary to us. Yay! Yeah. Oh, gotta get that uh, cupcake shot. <laughs> That's right. There's my new friends from New York and New Jersey. And I was gonna stick around here for sunrise, but it's supposed to be 100% cloud cover at that time, so. Probably just get an early start as usual. Getting ready for bed and we'll see y'all tomorrow.